Placencia cigars. Perfected for more than 150 years. Yours to enjoy now. What's up, Stogie Geeks listeners? Joe Zempa here, a.k.a. Joe Hollywood, a.k.a. The Italian Styling, telling you about a little giveaway that we have going on. We've teamed up with our sponsor, J.C. Newman, this year to give back to the Stogie Geeks listener. They've been such an awesome partner so far. They've decided to give away one Diamond Crown Humidor per quarter to the winner that they choose. All you got to do is log on to stogiegeeks.com forward slash diamond crown. Click on the enter to win button. It's really that easy. So if you're smart and you want an awesome humidor for your home collection, go to our website, stogiegeeks.com. Find that banner ad right on top. Click on it and register to win that humidor. Good luck. Welcome back to episode 310 of Stogie Geeks. You can follow uh, Drew and myself along. I am your host, Joe Hosempa. If you go to stogiegeeks.com forward slash 310, that's where you have the sticks of the week that we have been smoking and a small little bio of uh, Armin from uh, DAV Cigars. And that was an interesting conversation Drew and I had about uh, being a boutique cigar company and getting in on some of that action. But anyway, I'm joined by Drew, who is remote over in Texas. What's going on, Drew? Hey, Joe. What's happening, man? Here in Texas, it's nice and cool in the uh, 60s, uh, so definitely golf weather. Mm. Uh, But other than that, uh, besides our Yankees, uh, you know, faltering or unraveling, as my cigar did this morning, (laughs) uh, it's just, you know, other than that, it's it's, it's wonderful. You bring up prime disc golf weather, Drew. You bring up a point, right? You bring up a point, Drew. It, for you, Story Geeks listeners, you have got to follow Drew on social media. That what is it? They're called memes with the Yankee meme with the with the arm and the unravel. The stuff you post is freaking hilarious. I, I'm I, I'm enjoying uh, that not only as as your partner in crime here, but uh, I'm enjoying the stuff. And Drew, I mean, he posts everything he smokes during the during the week, and he gives a little description. So, Drew, give him yeah, your, your handles. Is that what they're called in the industry, the handles? Yeah. Twitter, yeah, yeah. So Facebook. My handles are uh, Drew Cigars, <laughs> Drew Galvin Cigars, IG, Instagram, uh, on Twitter. Shoot, I forgot. <laughs> uh, it's Drew Stogie Geeks, isn't it? Twitter? Yeah, I think it's yeah, it's Stogie Geeks Drew Stogie Geeks one, uh, Twitter, and then on Facebook it's uh, Drew Stogie Geeks. Uh, but I will say this: I was off for the entire week because my office is being moved, and the network company got the dates mixed up. So they told me they told me and my staff to take a week off. I'm gonna tell you something: this social media thing, man, that's that's some serious business. I I, I was always wondering, you know, how did these guys influencers do this every day on the hour, 24 hours a day. It's a, it's a hard job. I would, I used to tease my, my, my niece about that. Cause my niece does that in California and I'll tell you, it, it is a tough gig, but uh, I started this thing called, uh, uh, I just launched it on my, I believe it was Monday. It's called Stogies, uh, morning Stogies. Yes. So if you guys see that, that's just, you know, I get up at four 30 in the morning and I, 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 that's my thing. I get up, I start thinking, I get my coffee, I get my cigar, and I just go out in the patio in the cigar garden, and then I just enjoy my morning uh, a couple hours before my wife gets up. Not, not that that's a bad thing, because that's a great thing. Uh, and then from there, you know, we just, we just go about our day. And uh, but yeah, that's that's been awesome. I'm so hopefully if you guys are reading those, you know, definitely give us some feedback on that. Uh, let me know if there's something you would like to share uh, on, on that platform. Uh, I invite everybody to do so. Share your stogies, you know, what you're having that morning or what have you. Tag um, Drew in them. Tag, yes, tag Drew. Me. You can tag me, but you know, yeah. I, I, tag- I, I, you can tag Drew and myself, whichever you want. That's actually yeah. how we met Drew. Like, you know, but we, yes. should, we should take a couple of seconds because, you know, 
I, you know, you're, 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 I, you know, you've been on the scene for a while here at Stogie Geeks. Yeah. And, yeah. you know, uh, Drew, you want to tell them the story? How we yeah, met yeah. I started just by, you know, whenever my wife and I would go somewhere, uh, I would take a stick with me and we would just, I, w- I would just enjoy a beverage and I would think, you know, I, I would have a, 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 a light, a light, a medium body and a full body cigar. And I would just sit there and just kind of start contemplating what would go great with those drinks so i know i think i got stuck on some coffee drinks because i wasn't drinking a lot of the sweet coffees i'm more of a straight up black coffee i i want i want full octane at 4 30 in the morning so Hell yeah. uh but my i want to go back you know, to bed at 4 30 in the morning but anyway we'll get now <laughs> yeah so that's and then i shot joe an email to help me pair uh, those cigars with those coffees that one of my favorite hangouts I love to go to uh, and, and here in Texas. And, 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 and he shot me back an email and that's how we started just kind of uh, commiserating together. And then, uh, uh, and then one day I just asked him straight out, I said, dude, I want to, I want to, I want to be part of this uh, experience and adventure. And uh, you know, for me, I've never done anything like this since college uh, in college. I was a, I was a DJ uh, so I would do like some things through our local radio, our college radio, campus radio. Yeah. Uh, I'd, I'd be on at one o'clock in the morning till three o'clock in the morning. And I would just play whatever I wanted. So that was, that was, that was cool. But, um, you know, there wasn't a lot of, you know, like feedback back in 1990. <laughs> right. You know, it's so funny, Drew, like, as you know, if you're, if you're a, a, a frequent Stogie Geek listener, I ask questions. It's what I feel like. Drew had no clue I was going to ask this question. Do you know if you asked me that question, it'd be a different story? Because, and then when you told me the story, I was like, shit, he's right. If you were to say, well, Joe, how did we meet? And what'd you do? I would say, oh, Drew was drinking a Bloody Mary at your favorite hangout. And he yep. tagged me in a photo. And then yes, we began dialogue. And then I totally spaced out the coffee pairings email that yeah. we had so we had email dialogue about the coffee and then when you said that i was like holy you, shit right and so, you did a segment so and you did a, you did a segment on that i think yes, uh, yeah yeah, you, yeah 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 you did do a segment on that and from that that's just where this uh terrific relationship started right and and um yeah i'm forever thankful for that i mean i for me it was just something i i've wanted to get into being in the cigar uh being in the cigar culture i wanted to expand that horizon uh i wanted to to be on a platform and I was even teetering about just doing my own thing. But I said, you know, if I, if, if I, if I can get my personality to you guys, maybe you guys had, you know, grab me. So I'm thankful for that. Yeah, man. Paul, Thank you as well, Paul. Yeah. Yeah. I, th- I thank Paul all, all, every episode. I'm like, man, I'm freaking lucky to be able to sit here and, and <laughs> I expect Paul to come through. Some, sometimes the stuff that comes out of my mouth, I expect Paul to come through the doors and like yank off the headphones. But dude, bro, you're out. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> like well, you've you've crossed the line. But I honestly think that you know, uh, I, I'm 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 forever grateful that he, he trusts me to uh, kind of go with it because uh, yeah, as you know, even with the almond video, uh, video with the almond interview, I don't I don't do pre questions. You know what right. I mean? Like I don't, I don't like pre questions. Like you know what I mean? If you can't talk about your space that you're so f- passionate about, then right. you you just can't you you just you just can't come out of the show. Yeah, you know what I mean, yeah, and, it's definitely a know. learning curve too being on this side because you know for me like I I, I listen to a lot of great entertainers and and one thing I I've done is like I'm not going to emulate anybody. I'm just going to be myself. Hell and yeah. and through the development of this, uh, our listeners, if you listen. And uh, when you listen to us, you know, hopefully, you know, it's, it's coming through better and better as the weeks go by. And, and, and I'm blessed uh, in all different avenues to, well, to be on this. Platform. You bring up two points. My philosophy, I have a couple of philosophies uh, here. My first philosophy is if you're always yourself, you never have to worry about how to act. Exactly. When you're in front of certain people. And number two. If you never lie, you never have to watch behind your back. Right. And that's you don't just have and to... that and, and and that's just the way it goes. You know what I mean? And and I've I've you know, and then number three, this comes from fresh uh eighth grade, right? Sister Sardena, God rest her soul, right? She had just passed mm-hmm. a couple years ago, right? God rest her soul, she taught me how to study. 
And you know what she said? Now, I was a kid. I was all over the place. Go figure, right? It's all over the place, right? <laughs> so, you know, a scatterbrained, whichever. So clearly it wasn't the boxing that 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 did it, right? And right. she goes, you know, Mr. Hosempa, if you understand, you never have to memorize. Like, if you understand what you're reading and what you're doing, you never, because, you know, as My a kid, is- as a kid, uh, I was going on and, um, you know, trying to study and learn and all that stuff. And I was trying to memorize stuff and, you know, I, you know, I'm going back eighth grade, right? You have vocabulary, spelling, blah, blah, right. blah. I was trying to memorize, memorize, memorize. And she's like, no, no, no. Understand what we're teaching you and you'll never have to memorize. And, you know, it's amazing because I still use those three philosophies principles. and yeah. principles, whatever you want to call them, Joeisms yeah. from, from that. And, and one I've been using since the eighth grade. And, and then there you go. Um, awesome. Speaking of email, you can email Drew, D R E W, at StogieGeeks.com if you want to talk to Drew or if you have any complaints on the show. Email Drew at StogieGeeks.com. <laughs> if you want to talk to me, email Joe. What's my. Uh, uh, jo- oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Joe H at StogieGeeks.com. Uh, you can you can uh, email us there. We have one email I do want to uh, read, Drew. I've been trying yes. to catch up on that. I respond to every single email. Sometimes it's five business days, but I respond to every single email uh, here. It says, this comes from Keith. He is from Michigan. Keith mm-hmm. says, Joe, as a response to your request as to what I smoke for a celebratory cigar, I go to an Arturo Fluente short story or a Davidoff. My son is due to be born on November 11th, and I plan to grab either an Opus X Lost City or a Davidoff Winston Churchill. Which Mm. one do you think? Two great sticks. You know me. You know me. I'm I'm going to go with the Arturo Fuentes. (laughs) Hell no. You you said this is the birth of your firstborn son, man. Get two. Get two. Because let me tell you you something. So so anyway, let me tell you something. If it's your firstborn son, I'll give you the same advice Paul Azadorian gave me. Make sure you're there. Make sure you cut the umbilical cord. If your job, you make sure you take time out when you're around that November 11th time oh, uh, yeah. there. Uh, and, and make sure you're there because that's super cool, man, uh, for sure. And you'll be able to get your son's personality coming out right out there. However, it says, thank you for the entertainment and the great cigar information. I have purchased many cigars based upon your past reviews. Keep up the great work, guys. And that comes from Keith over in Michigan. My response to him was, Keith, first of all, congratulations on the future birth of of your son. I wish you and mom all the health and love and happiness for that little one. Spend as much time as you can because trust me, after the first 90 days, it's going to go fast. (laughs) Two great great choices on sticks. Thank you for writing to us. We appreciate your support and you listening to the show. Keep in touch. P.S., Get both sticks. <laughs> there you go. Get a box split. Get a yeah, box I mean, and split them. Just get both sticks, man. You know what I mean? There you go. Because there's going to be wrong. You can't there's, go wrong. Because there's going to be time in that first ninety days when you're going to be like, "Wow." Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? And that time, and that time flies <laughs> by. I mean, I have a grandson yeah, yeah. who's who just turned one uh, back in August, and I'll tell you, I, I mean, I couldn't believe it when they were telling me, "Hey, we're planning a party." That da yada yada. And I was like, oh, okay. And I was like, wow, he's already won. Mm-hmm. And it was just, it's just amazing. Just like with you and uh, uh, Caden. Yeah. Yeah, man. I mean, that time flies by pretty quick after the 90 days. It does. Caden is walking and talking and lets us know, like his father, what the heck he wants. So <laughs> <laughs> awesome. <laughs> you know what I mean? And he has gorgeous hair, which is great. So anyway, and he's healthy, so which awesome. is even greater. <laughs> but anyway, we have some sticks of the weeks to review. Um, let's just jump. Well. We didn't jump right into it, but let's just jump into it right now. All right. All right. Let's do it. All right. I had the uh, EP Carrillo Kappa Del Sol. Mm. Um, I had this before, but I didn't have it for a stick review. I had it when it came out, and I went out to one of my customers outside of Story Geeks and Security Weekly. I went to one of my customers, gave me the stick. We were talking, All right, cool. Yeah, I smoked it. Okay, great. I was still on a EP Carrillo Dusk. Um, if yeah. you if you watched some of the past Stogie Geeks, I was on a dusk kick for a while by the by the uh, um uh, by EP Carrillo uh, there. Um, it's available in four different sizes. You have a robusto, 
uh, which is 6x52, an Exclusivo, which is 6x54, a Pyramid, which is uh, 5 and 3 quarters by a 52, and the Sultan, which is 6x60. I had the Robusto, and I had the uh, Exclusivo size, the uh, 6x54. Your wrapper is Ecuadorian Sun Grown Binder and Filler, our Nicaraguan. Um, I. It, 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 when it first first started, I was getting that hint of that pepper, and I was like, "Ooh, wow! Uh, it's it's got that dusk esque to me." Mm. Um, when I smoked the EP Carrillo Dusk, it has to me. Uh, I bullet cut my cigars, so full disclosure, it does make a difference, right? Mm -hmm. um, when I bullet cut it, it gives me that real leather component, which I like. I'm, I'm a sucker for 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 that leather component. I absolutely love it uh, there. Leather and black pepper is kind of like it speaks to me. And then uh, I'm like, well, this is getting lighter, right? I'm like, this is crazy. Why is this stick getting lighter? Because it's, it's, it, it, it's got some sun grown in there, and, 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 and that'll do it. So um, I would give this stick uh, certainly, a, um, uh, certainly a fiver or a uh, box split. Uh, I couldn't imagine smoking some of the bigger sizes, which we're going to get to that from one of your stick reviews. Smoking the bigger sizes would truly probably make a difference uh, there, and I imagine it potentially maybe fading out a little bit, um, but but that's just from experience there. But I, I, actually, I'm putting the gauntlet down. I'd give it a box split. It's super cool. Mm. It's a good stick. That was the uh, EP Carrillo uh, Capa del Sol. Capa del Sol. That is a very good cigar, and I agree with you on that box split uh, rating on that. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, I I had. Oh the... wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait 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 wait. Hmm. I gotta beef up my skills. Capa del, as Drew would say, Capa del Sol translates to wrapper of the sun. Mm. <laughs> I don't have any history other than all right. That's it. So I'm getting Dead better. Sword. I'm, I'm getting you. better, Drew. Go ahead. <laughs> there you go. So I I had uh, a Perla del Mar Maduro a Toro Grande, a Toro Grande six by sixty, and uh, this wrap uh, this is a, a wrapper uh, USA Connecticut broadleaf uh, wrapper color is Maduro strength was medium, and of course the uh, cigar origin is in Nicaragua, uh, the binder Nicaragua and filler Nicaragua. So this is a a, a puro stick. Uh, and uh, and I'm and I'm still kind of figuring that poodle like pier. So uh, uh, by J C Newman Cigar Company, uh, this stick was released uh, uh, in 2012. Uh, it is a Connecticut shade wrapper made in the same Nicaraguan factory that produces El Barton and Brickhouse. So Brickhouse, as you guys know, it's it's one of their newest uh, or it's one of their they have a a, a new uh, uh, offering this year uh, in 2016, they followed up with the Perla del Mar Maduro. So mm. great cigar. Uh, I'll tell you right off the, right off the bat, man. Uh, I cut my cigar. I straight cut it this one because it was a large cigar and man, you talk about zing on the lips. I mean, that pepper just, I mean, it just gave you that zing. And at first I was like, you know, doing this and and then I took a few more draws and 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 it started to settle down. But uh, throughout this cigar, I, I I experienced rich notes of dark chocolate, uh, the sweetness uh, uh, of molasses, uh, for sure. And then and then it transitioned into a, like a uh, there was a cedar aroma there, but I just couldn't taste it until I got into the the second third of it. And that's when I really started to really come together with that. And of course, espresso, one of my favorite. Uh, I love coffee, so coffee is like my go-to drink, uh, morning, day, uh, during the day, and at night. Before I go to bed, I, I have an espresso, and um, after I finish a stogie, and and just keep going. Uh, and then I go to bed, believe it or not. Uh, but anyhow, uh, creamy, smooth finish as well. I mean, as I got into the last third, uh, all those flavors, including the on the retro hell, the pepper, uh, came through. Uh, uh, very uh, excitingly, uh, and 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 of course the creaminess. And I'm, I'm going to say the creaminess came from a uh, kind of a nutty creamy, so nothing really too dramatic, but yet 
it, it was it was a definitely a uh, an uh, an inviting uh, finish to the cigar. Uh, I rated this as a box worthy. Um, I can definitely see this as a, a good cigar for me to have every couple of weeks, uh, along with all my other stogies I have in my box and my humidor at home. Uh, it definitely is one that uh, I, I, I highly recommend if you haven't had the Perla Del Mar Maduro. Uh, and uh, you can go to the J.C. Newman uh, website and take a look at the, uh, the different Vitolas uh, that they may have in this stick. Yeah, uh, 100% agree. That was uh, our sponsor, J.C. Newman, shipped us a box uh, of the Robustos. That should be – I know you just got your care package right before the show. Uh, Mm -hmm. I stuck some of those in there. Oh, nice. uh, For you, the Robustos. Those Robustos, box worthy all day. Like, completely. And I went on – like, when I say box worthy, there's two left. So I think I gave you two (laughs) or three. All right? I, I gave you two or three or whatever. Um, uh-huh. and, um, there's, there's two left in the box. I'm going to put them in my little carry on thing over here and I'll probably have them Monday and Tuesday. I've been smoking those first thing in the morning. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. It's like a wake me up. Right. I mean, it is. Know. that's a great stick. It is, yo, the thing uh, that I love about it, yeah, cause you gave me one of those when we had the uh, interview with uh, Richard Hacker, remember? Yep. And I, mm-hmm. and I rated mm-hmm. it, but the, the dark rapper is deceiving. It's not, uh, you know, it, it wasn't as as, uh, 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 as robust as I thought it was going to be. Mm-hmm. It was nice and creamy, like Drew was saying. It has those cocoa notes, and the price point on it's really good too. I think a box oh, yeah. was somewhere around like one fifty or two hundred for a box, so it's like under ten dollars at the price oh, point. Yeah. Box worthy all day. Oh, it's yeah. a great yeah. stick. And, quick, quick, they, wait, 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 t- wait, 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 quick question, Johnny. Did did the listeners hear that? No? They did, yeah. Okay. and they can see me. All so. right, good. Oh, yeah, okay. I put the LR on. So right. they can oh yeah, yeah. I, I just I just want to make sure because then uh, the, the, if if they see us here standing here, like what's yeah, going yeah. on? There's yeah, there's just yeah. silence okay. and like cool. yeah, like no one's there. Uh, no, no, hey, actually me. no. And, actually, I remember when we did well, Johnny. First of all, after we did the interview with with Richard, you needed a stick. Just getting them on air for sure. Yeah, uh, for yeah. sure. You know, but 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 that stick, I, I don't know, like. Um, I was skeptical when it first comes in. I'm not a box press guy. Full disclosure, I've said, uh-huh. been saying it here for years. I don't like the way it feels in my hand. You know what I mean? And, you know, um, which reminds me of one of the other uh, sticks that um, I, I'm I, I'm going to review. Like, I have one complaint about it uh, there. Uh, so, anyway, but... Um, you know, like like it, it it you look at the stick, Drew, right? For for the Story Geeks listener who's not mm-hmm. watching and the one that is listening, if you if you look at the stick, it's dark. It's a box press. You're like, holy right. cow, this thing is gonna kill me, right? Because it, right. it, it it if you were to put it beside like an uh, LFD digger. It's as mm-hmm. dark as that. Like, it is a dark stick, or maybe some of those real dark Gurkha sticks. They were, that's what it oh, reminds yeah. me of. And so when that, when they first shipped me a box, I was like, <sighs> okay, it's Doc and Spock Press, right? But I'm like, all right. Like, you know what I mean? Like, like I, I'm going to review it, all right? And then I did some homework on it. What I love about our sponsors is they send us the sheet. Uh, there, Drew. I'll, I'll I'll share those with you as as they start to come in now that you're in the rotation. But Sweet. you know they, they 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 send us the sheet, and I'm reading the sheet right quick. And I'm like, this doesn't sound strong compared to like what it is. I you know you got your brick house, you got your brick house plan. It's tasty, it's Nicaraguan. Sure, right. it could be real super strong. When you have it, it's such a great morning stick. That that's my uh, point. That's it's a great. And morning for, stick. And, yeah, and for me, I was I mean I was surprised it was a medium blend. I mean, right. I mean I. I, I was like, wow, this is this is this is neat. I mean, this is like I said, the, the creaminess to it. I mean, just just the just the the filler binder. I mean, I was expecting a, a, a full body in my oh, in yeah. my pro my and my palate profile, but when I, as I started getting to the second third, man, it was just like it opened up and uh, it, it translated well throughout the entire cigar. And and I'll tell you, I did smoke that one through all the way down past. The nub, same here, Drew. Uh, oh yeah, I've I've nubbed all of them. Johnny's nubbed them. Johnny knows my take because you know here we are. We're working with computers day in and day out, and we have the luxury to smoke at work. And yeah. when we can move our hands and type our fingers and still smoke down to the nub, tells you that's a great constructible stick. You could take it, uh, 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 it, it's character. You could take it fishing, take it golfing, take it outside cutting the grass. The elements are not going to get to it. It's not right. a delicate wrapper. 
It's no. it's so smooth and looks are deceiving when, when you look at that. Um, the darkness of the wrapper. When you throw the toothpick in, that's how you know it's a really good stick all the way down. You did the toothpick, Johnny? I uh, I'm not sure if I I don't think I did the toothpick, but yeah. I, you know I mean my fingers were like you know it, they were pinching it you know oh, yeah. so I just wanted to keep it going. That's like there uh, you go. Uh, what's it? Lancero, Cameroon, Laura. Same thing with that one. You yep. know what I mean? Yep. And and just so you know, Stogie listeners, I don't think they're really super expensive at all. So you know, um, you definitely should should. Take yeah. a look at those, Drew. Can you repeat the blend, so because so people can know what the heck we're talking about there? Yeah, the blend again yep. is a uh, it is a uh, Connecticut broadleaf wrapper. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it is colored Maduro. Uh, it is a, a Nicaraguan binder and filler mm -hmm. uh, by J.C. Newman. Yep, Connecticut broadleaf laugh wrapper. That's that complex Connecticut theme. I'm starting to see this this year for sure. You know oh, what I mean? Yeah. For sure, absolutely cool. I had the Alec Bradley Project 40, mm. right? I think I threw one of these in there for you. I'm not 100% sure. I don't know. It's a, it's a blur. Everything we do here is a blur. Anyway, the Alec Bradley Project 40, when you, when you look at the stick, you're like, okay, um, I love the where Alec Bradley is going. If you're just tuning in and you missed last week's episode, go back and look to episode 309. Um, where you know it, it, it says experimental series across the whole top, right? Jonathan yep. gave us a great description as to what that is. Uh, there, however, um, this cigar here has a Nicaraguan uh, filler. <laughs> your binder is a Habano from Brazil, and your wrapper is from Nicaragua. It's available in uh, three to uh, four, four different sizes. You have the Alec Bradley Project Forty, um. Interesting with with the labels, right? It's you have an Alec Bradley Project Forty five point five zero, which is a five by fifty. Then you have a Alec Bradley Project Forty six six point five two, and mm. then which was a six by fifty two. So we we have a theme here, right? Alec Bradley uh, is is available also in the the uh, six by sixty and the seven by fifty. I had it in the five by fifty, and mm -hmm. I had it in the six by fifty two. Uh, mm. I've had a few of these um, sticks for the actual review. When you first light it up, you had you get a a um, interesting uh, nutty note. Uh, I was getting like kind of like it wasn't graham crack. It was like a nutty, maybe some some sort of almond there, um, coming through. Um, it, it starts off really really light, and then when you're about an inch in, especially on the robusto, kicks over to like a really really. It's a little bit stronger, but not much. I'd I'd call it a a, a medium, um, mm -hmm. for sure. And then it gets like really creamy and sweet. Uh, and, and you get like a kind of like, um, almost like, like not quite as far as the taste, but you get, I've made reference to like that hay, like you have that Davidoff hay yeah. that kind of lingers on your palate. Um, oh, yeah. don't smoke this stick and be expecting a, a, a Davidoff S stick. I'm just trying to make the hay reference because sometimes when I say Davidoff hay, they're like, I know what he's talking about. You know what I mean? So, you know, you kind of mm -hmm. get that that kind of uh, uh, flavor there, a little bit of cedar, uh, cedar uh, coming in. And it, it wasn't too spicy. Uh, it's priced great, uh, depending as to where you are. And although it says experimental series, it is in regular production uh, there. I would certainly give this, give this a uh, box split as well. Uh, nice. That's the Alec Bradley Project 40. So I've smoked a couple of those. I've actually only smoked one. So I was going to do that review. I'll, I'll, I'll do that review still in a few weeks from now. Yeah, yeah. But I, I, I've got to have a few of them, you know, to to really key in what I what I was thinking of that. But yeah, I, you're not definitely you're you're not you're you're right on you're pretty much right on point with that cigar. It's different. Sure. It, if you smoke Alec Bradley, and whether you've been into them in the past, like I expressed last week. Or you're just getting into them. It's a different Alec Bradley stick. It is. It's it's 
It's which I don't know if that's why they put the experimental series on there. You know, we got the review. You know, uh, we got the interview with Jonathan. He explained. You know, there. Um, you know, I, I, I think that. Um, you know, they they're onto something different. It's completely different from the profile from Alec Bradley. Even though at the same time you got the Magic Toast, and mm-hmm. there's another one, uh, Gatekeeper. The gatekeeper. The, ga- the uh-huh. gatekeeper. So they all came out like around that that same timeline. And if you would if you have those lined up plus their normal lineup, I'd pull the Alec Bradley Project Forty out and say this one's different. Yeah. So if you, I actually so if you don't like their profile, consider the Project Forty. It won't break the bank. Let me know if I'm crazy. No, if I'm crazy, email Drew at StogieGeeks.com. <laughs> now, I was gonna, I was gonna say add to that, that those 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 three cigars you just mentioned mm-hmm. those are coming from the, the sons right the the guys uh, Alec and Bradley no not all of them the gatekeeper is oh. the collaboration right okay. this is off the top of my head so that's dangerous right the gatekeeper is off the collaboration with uh, EP Carrillo there uh-huh. um, and the sons uh, yeah. Project Forty I don't know. Offhand, I that, uh, oh, I don't remember from last week. Yeah, and what was the other one? The magic toast. The magic toast. I I, I wasn't into it. Like I like I I I had one, uh, and then I had another one, and I went back to the project for it. That's how I kind of judge my sticks of the week. What what right. I do? What I do is I snap a picture of it. Right, I snap a picture of it. I don't post it like you do, uh, yeah. but but I snap a picture of it, and this way it gives me a timestamp as to when I rekindled with that, right? Because I can look at the the thing, and then I, I have it, and then yes, I have sir. it while I'm working, while I'm here, while I'm there. Because if if I have multiple, and the ones that kind of stop me in my tracks, I'm like, huh, like then I I say, okay, now I'm gonna make this a stick review for Stogie Geeks. You know there what I mean? Go. So so that's me. Like, because if you explain, as I explained when I did the EP Carrillo Capital Soul, I've had that before doing work for one of my clients who is a, uh, he, he he's a cigar shop owner. And so one of my clients over there, and um, I do his branding and marketing and his advertising efforts for my agency. But, you know, um, I I had it. And like I said, at that time when I had it, I was going through my dusk phase. So it didn't yeah. like stop me. Then I had it again, and I'm like, "Huh, I'm getting like a sun, like a sun grown salty, you know." Kind of, and then, and then it stopped me. So I'm like, "Okay, fine. I need another one. This is going to be a review." Yeah, that that's uh, how I do it. You know. Yeah, that's that's pretty interesting because that's that's what I've been doing with mine. I've been uh, all my cigar reviews. I've been I've been uh, I'm like about eight weeks back, so I kind of pepper them in throughout my my before i decide i'm gonna do a review so yep yeah that's pretty yep. okay that's pretty I, cool. I, even though i book the sponsors I, and i do the sponsors and i do the the promos and all of that I, I i honestly can tell you uh for the listeners out there or for the retailers out there i really don't you know i i thank thankful for the sponsors thankful it's awesome uh it's great it's great that we could talk about your product uh, it's super cool, but I just smoke it with with the. And if it stops me, then I'm gonna talk about it. You know what oh, I mean? Yeah, I'm most gonna, definitely. If it stops me, or if I know someone's coming in for an interview, right? Like we have McAuliffe who's on deck to come in, right? So mm-hmm. so so when they come in, you know, I've started to smoke my McAuliffe repertoire, so I at least know like where they're coming from. Sometimes when you meet Armin, I mean, you met him last week. It just happened right. so quick. Let's just do it. You just can't kind of logistically pivot because right. I don't have access to it. But when I get to his sticks, I'm gonna review them. And and, oh, and yeah. you know, if I have them and they, and and if something happens where it doesn't stop me in the track, it doesn't get a review. Right. Like it doesn't. It doesn't get. It doesn't get a review. And there are a lot of them that I'm like, oh nope. Like you know what I mean. You know. <laughs> uh, you know. And 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 stuff like that. And then there's some that. Not because of sponsorship or anything, but because I know it's hot out there, right? There's a right. lot of, um, for example, a lot of, um, a, a lot of sticks that come out that are very, very popular in here in the Northeast that I go through my panel of shop owners. I'm like, well, if everybody else is digging it and it's selling off the shelves, 
I should probably review it. You know what I mean? Yeah, so those yeah. are my personal two vetting processes. Yeah, that's what I do. I mean, I, I was at a couple of cigar shops here in Texas this past week since I had the week off. I went to go visit them, and I just walked in there unassuming and just asked for what is their best seller. And, and and they handed me their best seller, and I, I could see why those would be best sellers. Of course, uh, I did get a few more of those just to make sure that I'm on point with that when I do the review. So, yeah, most definitely. That's something that uh, I think a lot of our uh, so Geek listeners, I mean, if you go into a, a brick and mortar and, and, and you walk in there and you haven't been in there before, ask them what their best seller is. And then, you know, give that stick a, a whirl. Uh, and, and see what you come up with. And, That's good advice because I yeah. personally go in and say, yo, man, what's new? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, what's yeah. new? And I should say, well, what the, what the best seller is. I'm going to use yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. So my next stick I, I, I reviewed was the Los uh, Leon Jimenez Robusto 5.5 by 50. Uh, this is uh, LaAurora.com. If you want to go to La Aurora, check it out. Uh, this stick here is uh, Dominican Republic. Uh, it's strength of medium. Uh, wrapper color is natural, uh, Connecticut uh, wrapper, Dominican binder and filler. And again, the manufacturer is La Aurora. Uh, this this stick for me, you know, I, I went back to it a few times, and I'm not sure if it's because where they were in the box or maybe it was a different box, but I kept having this little teetering with them. I mean, at first I thought, you know what, I'm going to rate this probably a fiver. And then, and then I had a few more, and it was just like, you know, it, it, it just kept it kept bouncing me back. So uh, this cigar is a relentlessly so from their website, it's relentlessly consistent blend from one of the premium cigar factories in the world, made in the La Aurora factory. Uh, Leon Jimenez are handmade with special light Connecticut shaped uh, leaf wrappers, uh, along with a well aged recipe of Cuban seed Dominican long leaf tobacco. So uh, on, uh, my taste notes on this uh, right off the bat. Uh, uh, it was uh, it was a coffee bean flavor, so I got a coffee uh, bean flavor out of it. Uh, it, it, it. It came off light for me. Uh, it definitely had hints of nuts, and and then throughout the second uh, throughout the cigar, I kept trying to figure out what woody flavors I was getting. But as I started to retro hell, uh, as I do with all my cigars, I started to get the cedary character that was definitely coming through on, on this cigar. Uh, I enjoyed it. Uh, it, it uh, towards the last third, it, it had more of a hay finish uh, to it. Uh, you know, for me, it, it's a cigar that, you know, try one. You know, it's a Stogie Geek rating of try one. Uh, because, I, again, I'm not sure if it's just, you know, you know, how they've been stored, uh, things of that nature, uh, how long it's been in the humidor. Uh, but it, it was definitely just more of a try one for me. I mean, it, uh, three out of the five, I would say, uh, two were a, a fiver for me. And then the other, the other three, and, and this is in between, uh, uh, it, it, it ended up being just a try one mm. for sure. Mm. Um, January 9th, <coughs> No, January 7th of 2019, I had, uh, you You did the Prestige, Leon Menes Prestige? No, it was a Leon, uh, Leon Menes. Uh, Forget it. <laughs> Re- go, go ahead, go ahead. I'm Re- sorry. Robusto? Uh, yep. Uh, I, yeah, I'm not, uh, shoot. Was it the Prestige? Was it a... Um... No, no, it wasn't a Prestige. Okay. I, I, yeah, it wasn't a Prestige, for sure. Okay, text me offline a picture of that. Uh, okay, because I was I had um, I had reviewed, and now my point's not going to be taken. But um, to start a conversation, I'll finish it. Um, uh-huh. January seventh of twenty nineteen, I did a stick review. It's on um, stogiegeeks dot com. If you click on stogies, uh, it has a picture of it. I had the Leon uh, the, the 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 Leon Jimenez. Uh, Prestige Robusto. It mm-hmm. was a uh, five by fifty. Wrapper was Connecticut. Binder was Dominican Nicaraguan. Filler was Dominican. It's available in a couple different sizes. Three mm-hmm. Churchill Robusto and Corona. I put mild cedar notes with hints of le- leather, just enough spites uh, to get you on the retro hail. Um, for me, it was a little mild for my palate. 
But mm-hmm. if cedar is your thing, try it. And mm-hmm. I gave it a um, fiver. So that's okay. where I was going. So, but I, so you know, they must be they must be somewhere in there. Maybe they mixed up the blend a little bit. Uh, yeah, this one was definitely not a prestige. Uh, I did look at that. As a matter of fact, I did. I think Nam, Nomi uh, gave me a few of those uh, to compare. But I, I never made it to them, yep. of course. And for those of you Stogie Geeks listeners, I use the website as you would, right, here. Um, if you go to stogiegeeks.com and click on Stogies, that's the section, right, right across the top, you can type in a stick uh, there, and it'll pull up all of the ratings from not only ourselves but previous hosts and whatnot. Um, and you can also, uh, under the tag component, separate them by host. So find out which ones I did or whichever. Uh, mm-hmm. Or you can just look up uh, what were the fivers or what were the oasises or what were this or what were that. So just an FYI um, if, if, if you're uh, scoring at home. Uh, I didn't even know that. Yeah, man. That's uh, where... I- we're ready to go. We're ready to go. Um, that's where, where we sent you the other stuff for the WordPress stuff for you to put those up and whatnot. You know what okay, I mean? cool. Uh, what we do, what we've been doing now is they're within the episode number. So it's storygeeks.com forward slash 310, 309, 308, whichever, and a list Sweet. of sticks that, 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 that we do. But as you start to post and you do that, there are different tags that you can do. And so you'll be able to have a, re- a repertoire six months afterwards they'll be able to pull up what the heck you've you've smoked. You know what I mean? Nice. Because nice. so, every once in a while, it, it rings a bell. Like, I'll name, like, Liana Menez, and yeah. I'm like, I know I've talked about that. You know what I mean? Like, I know. You know what I mean? Sometimes right. I it goes over our head, and we just continue with the conversation. You know? Definitely. Uh, cool. So you would give that a try one? I gave it a try one, yeah. Gotcha. I was Like I said, I, was, uh, I had five, and uh, two of them had me on the try a fiver, and then the other three – throughout that process uh, led me to go ahead and just give it a try one. I mean, it's just, I guess it just depends on the palate. You're definitely correct. I, I, I put this more on the medium, uh, light to medium. It wasn't really quite full for me. Yep. Uh, so, uh, yeah, uh, you know, being that, uh, a Connecticut, uh, excuse me, uh, being that it was a, uh, a Connecticut rapper, uh, yeah, I, I, I just didn't get that, that, that full medium to full that they, or that medium that they, that they said it was, mm-hmm. um, it was more on the light to medium yep. for me. Yep. Um, cool. Cool. Uh, I smoked a CAO Orellana. Mm. You talked about that, didn't you? Yes, I did. Was I that, have not okay. reviewed that yet. Well, you didn't review that yet. No, I have no, not. No, you did the, the series before that. With the quarter, and I was talking about the quarter. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. cool. So I, I had one of these, and again, dark wrapper. You're like, huh? Uh, looks like it could be potentially strong. It's not mm. as strong. Again, looks are deceiving. Um, this was released at the IPCPR this year, um, and your wrapper is a Brazilian Cubra. And your binder is Nicaragua. Your filler is from Colombia, Dominican Republic, Brazil. Uh, and it's available in 20 count boxes. It comes in a 6x52, which is Toro size. Um, it got released. Uh, so it came out IPCPR. Got released here in the fall, uh, October 1st um, of this year. And so I, uh, it came in Stogie Geeks. Like, I... I was in and out of an appointment and got out of the appointment and came in and it was on my desk. So I was like, oh, cool. Right. And tried it. And I was like, huh, this is interesting. Interesting smoke. I was like, and since it's so interesting, I'm going to talk about it. Uh, I love the taste. I think it's very tasty. Uh, I'm excited at two things. Number one, it was available October 1st and the tobacco's ready. If that mm-hmm. makes sense, okay. So mm-hmm. uh, it's not like, eh, I tried it. It's new. It's got to wait in the humidor. It, it's ready to go. Uh, right. It's locked and loaded. So for those of you uh, who are um, considering uh, something different, uh, it's totally different stick. Um, there, uh, I get really. It's mild to me, right? Um, it's, it's it's pretty mild, but it's really really tasty. Complaints. Mm. The cord goes around. There's no band. It's like a cord. 
And then mm-hmm. after it does the chord, it loops around kind of like a barber pole, like with that spacing, if that makes sense. Do I, do I even have one? I don't know. I don't know if I sh- should have probably. No, I don't have one there. No. Yeah. So, um, you know, and then it goes there. Now, when you light it and you smoke it, the single chord that goes down from the unbanded position burns all the way through. When you get towards the the end of it, so when you're at your end like this, whoops, like this, and you got to wait like that, yeah, you got a little bit left and whatnot where the band would be, it, it, it kind of flakes off and whatnot. And it reminded me of a game, <laughs> right, of a game that I used to play when I was like in fourth grade with the chicks with the fingers. And they used to make things, right? Mm-hmm. And I was like, what the hell is that game? I was like, is that like Cheeky Cheeky China or something like that? Like, I remember singing to it. We were little, right? We were real little. I was like, because I was like freaking like fiddling with it. It's coming across the thing. I mean, this is crazy, right? Uh, however, um, it was brought to my attention that it's not called that. It's called Cat's Cradle. So, <laughs> you know, you know what I'm talking about? With the, you, know, you know, yeah. am I like totally, are you not following me? No, I, 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 it's an interesting uh, analogy because I was like yeah, fiddling analogy. with it. Like I'm fiddling with the stick, right? I'm literally smoking it and I'm enjoying the flavor. And I'm fiddling with the with the chord thing and the chord thing starting to poke up now and doing that and, and whatnot. <laughs> so rules of the stick. Number one, don't smoke a golfing on a windy day. You could probably burn your polo. Mm-hmm. Number two, it's super tasty. Number three. Do not take the cord off. Let it naturally fall off. Because yes. if you take the cord off from that glue that they use, it's going to peel off. And then there you go. That's my, my take. However, stick-wise, other than my ridiculous complaint of I didn't like the way it felt in my hand is essentially what I'm saying. Um, mm-hmm. I, I'd, I'd give it a fiver. Uh, I'm going to have some more over next week. Um, but it would be teetering on that fiver, and if you're super cool into, um, you know, uh, limited production CAO stuff, I could see it switching over to a box split for sure. But as of Go right ahead. now, I'd I'd give it a fiver, and it's 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 super tasty. I'm not gonna yeah. lie, super tasty. Like it's super tasty and it's different. And if you're looking for something different, um, there. And you've smoked CAO in the past. And, again, to me, locally, that's one of those brands that I don't want to say they kind of, they, they just kind of subsided from the limelight. And, and hopefully they'll, they'll get back uh, as, as, as to where they are. Or they're just business model going online. And I know that they do very well online with some of the online retailers. So there Oh, yeah, go. yeah. I, I like their flathead. What's that, the V19? Yeah, you uh, like that. Yeah. Oh man, that was yeah. I like that. And then I smoked that Oriana, and uh, you know, I, the first thing I read about on their site was, "Do not remove the rope or the cord uh, <laughs> from the cigar because uh, people have uh, destroyed their cigar uh, trying to remove that." You know, because they, I guess they use pec- pectin. Yeah, pectin. Yep. Yeah, pec- pectin to uh, to to have it on there, and it's meant to be smoked with the cigar and and then it, it, yeah as you said it spirals around i was concerned with uneven burn i was concerned with interruption no Just, it burns you know, through it burns through and it even yeah, leaves no. like an indentation of where it was it's super cool it's cool yeah it's just yeah, towards so, the end like i don't know like i i'm a twirler right so you know right. i twirled sky whatever and yeah. and i felt like i was playing that game <laughs> well, you must have grew up in a nice neighborhood because uh, the girls in my neighborhood, their dads would tell them, "Don't play with, don't play with, don't play with the guys." Well, <laughs> you know, I don't know. In fourth grade, I don't know. It was weird. It was cool. It's a good time. Yeah, no, that's cool. So my next stick I I went into was the uh, Punch Rothschild Natural. Uh, this is a short four and a half by fifty. Uh, you can look them up. Uh, I believe it's cigarworld.com uh, slash forward slash products what have you. Uh, and I think they do have their own little website. Uh, I didn't go into it too much. Uh, I, this cigar, I, I, I keep as a giver. I, 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 you know, friends come over, uh, they look at my humidor and they're like, Oh, I'm like, no, 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 no. Here, here, I bring out this other box and this is the box you can choose from. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, but I, I, I've enjoyed this smoke with, uh, uh, a few friends, uh, 
it, it is a uh, it is a uh, profile and this is a medium to full uh, it is a the wrapper is a Connecticut broadleaf Ecuador Ecuador Sumatra natural EMS that's English market standard uh, uh, it's a uh, shape of Rothschild of course origin Honduras uh, the filler is Dominican Honduran uh, Nicaraguan uh, the binder of Connecticut leaf so this cigar for me uh, it is a go-to cigar uh, uh, I, I like it, it, it it's enjoyable uh, this I take golfing with me uh, it's a short enough stick where uh, I don't, I'm not worried about time. I'm not trying to relax. Uh, or I'm, if I'm driving in my truck, if I'm going to South Texas, uh, I take the stick with me as, as, a, as a, uh, a filler up time as I'm driving. Uh, but the taste notes on this was, uh, a nice earthy start, uh, with, with some leather, uh, in, in the combination there. Uh, and then, and then you, and then you get into the sweetness, uh, factor of it. What that sweetness uh, that was evident, uh, I really couldn't put my finger on it. And, and but I, I'm thinking more of a uh, kind of a like a honey, like a honey glaze, I guess, flavor uh, is what comes to mind uh, on the retro. Oh, man, you get that pepper, mm. that white. It's a, and it's a white pepper. So it's not like a black pepper or a red pepper. Uh, it's more of a cooling pepper. So, uh, man, through the retro. Man, definitely, I, I definitely recommend that. Uh, if you don't retro your uh, retro hell your cigars, uh, you definitely get a different uh, a profile uh, uh, as it comes through. Uh, the aromas are rich and spicy, and, and and this cigar for me is 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 definitely one of those ones. Like I said, I uh, I gave it a box split rating, uh, so geeks rating a box split. Uh, it is a value cigar. I mean, for fifty, it, it comes in a fifty count box. Mm. Uh, so I, I box split it because I, I just I just don't know if I'll go through fifty in in three or four months. So I just I, I box split it with some of my friends. We go in it, we we grab it, we divvy up twenty five uh, one way, twenty five the other way, and, and go from there. Uh, or, or if there's more of my circle. Uh, together, then we'll go 10, 10, 10 down the line. And, and uh, it, 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 it's definitely a cigar that won't break the bank, uh, but it's an enjoyable cigar. And, th- and this cigar, Punch is uh, just let me just uh, finish this off. Punch is a, le- a legendary cigar surrounded by rich lore established in Cuba and England. Uh, so blended with full bodied Honduran, Nicaraguan, and Dominican tobaccos, uh, the ro- and, and a robust uh, Ecuadorian wrapper. Punch taste is true to its name, uh, not your conventional cigar, and probably not your first cigar. Punch packs a big taste experience smoker can truly ta- uh, can appreciate. And I'll tell you, so that when I when I read that after I smoked that and I and I actually pasted it onto my, uh, I grabbed that content from their website. Uh, three things came to mind: uh, the rich and spiciness, uh, the aromas, and, and just the uh, the combination of the earth and leathery. I mean those. That that cigar when it, when I read that, I was like, yeah, that is the cigar, and it's and it's sometimes it's rare for me to translate those two because sometimes when they when they put their deal on their website, their 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 uh, their breakdown on it, uh, or their or their uh, 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 excuse me, I'm saying uh, too much. <laughs> when they put their uh, their uh, ideology behind it. Uh, sometimes it can come off uh, a little bit un, 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 uh, inconsistent. So, but for me, this, this cigar is pretty consistent. So mm. I definitely would, would recommend a block spit on these, uh, share them with your friends. Uh, like I said, they're not, they're not too bad. I think they're five to seven bucks a stick. But yeah. uh, it's what it comes out to. And uh, definitely a great value. Yeah. Super cool stick, super cool mm-hmm. price. And it's, mm-hmm. it's, a, it's a, it's a classic. Oh yeah. It's so, a classic. I remember, uh, in my old glory corporate days, when I was a young twenty, change with whip a snapper, mm. smoking those punches and digging them. You know what I mean? Yeah. Perfect size, like you said, for knocking around in your truck and 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 getting to your next appointment or whatever for sure. And on the golf course, yeah, why not? Or, or, or the frisbee fish. golf course. The frisbee golf course. There you go. You have, you have one more, Drew? Uh, I do. I actually right. take us actually, home. I got, I got two more actually. You got two more. Uh, yeah, All I think right. take us home. So the Cavalier Je- Genevieve Limited Edition 2019 Double Gordo. Uh, man, this cigar, 
I'm, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm, before I even tell you guys what's in the cigar, I gave it a, a fight, Chuck Norris. Uh, Damn! So, this, so this, <laughs> this cigar, there's not a lot about it. I mean, they, they, don't even, they don't even share the blend, what it is. So this cigar, I, I just dissected it. I, I, I went through it. I went through three sticks, and I found it very consistent. So that's, to me, just tells me tells you a lot about Cavalier uh, and and their product. I mean, I, I've I've smoked their other offerings and and, and haven't had a bad uh, or or anything less than than good things to say about this uh, uh, this uh, cigar. Uh, the wrapper, uh, Colorado uh, light brown, uh, shade grown, uh, again, uh, English market uh, uh, EMS. Uh, the uh, so the taste notes I got out of it were rich and uh, rich flavor uh, and very subtle uh, aromas. Uh, the binder, Connecticut, uh, for me, uh, Connecticut binder, uh, the taste notes on that were very silky, uh, mild, uh, smooth, uh, just uh, sweet, and and it, and it just really laid well in my palate. And I was having this cigar with just a straight up black coffee. And, and, and for that to come through, uh, once I coat my tongue with my beverage, uh, it, it was phenomenal. Uh, the filler Dominican Republic, uh, the taste notes on that, that you get from the filler is uh, you're going to get the almond and the creamy and sweetness of cedar throughout the cigar. Uh, so this one here, I had to do a little bit more homework to it, you know, just, just really break it down as much as I could, uh, anywhere you go. I mean, uh, uh they just wouldn't really, uh, share, with us what was in this i i was thinking off the top of my head uh that this was going to be part of their uh what they call the white series i believe it is mm-hmm. uh, and and so uh but after i smoked three of them man they're very consistent and i had the same experience with the cigar so yeah definitely a fight check norris for it uh it is uh around a 12 to 15 dollar range mm-hmm. here in texas uh it's a good cigar uh uh I definitely would put five or six of these in my, in my rotation uh, throughout months, I, I, I would think, and just see what that aging would do to this cigar to see if I can really key in on some of the other uh, taste notes that are there um, uh, and, and just and, and go from there. And which one was that? The White that Series? That was the Cavalier. No, that was the Cavalier Geneve, uh, mm. Geneve uh, Limited Edition 2019. Mm-hmm. Did it have uh, so a little they- gold speck on it? Oh yeah. So blue. this one has the yep. blue, has a blue band on it, a dark uh, blue with a little bit of gold on it. And then underneath that has the, the, the gold diamond yep. uh, that they, they put on all their, uh, the, the uh, gold leaf. And I, and I, trust me, I smoked the cigar all the way into the gold leaf. Oh yeah. And, yeah, yeah. and just beyond that. And I, just to let you guys know, I don't use a cigar poker. I just think they're kind of girly. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that's right. So, so I, 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 I'm sitting there, and I'm just like, you know, uh, you know, if I feel a little heat in my finger, I, I, I just move it up just a smidge, and then I just suck it, you know, and 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 it, it this stick was definitely enjoyable. I, I definitely uh, uh, recommend this stick as well. It's funny when you mentioned it, I was like, oh, I, I never even heard of it, and then when I looked them up, I'm like, oh yeah, I had that. I recognized yeah. the gold, the gold. Uh, thing and i remember smoking them i'd have to yeah, think so, yeah but yeah uh, su- super good sticks for sure yeah so apparently they came out with the 2018 version of it uh i didn't get past that uh, i just know it's a stick that's been around uh they they put it out in limited release uh every year so it's definitely a good stick i mean uh you know they 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 just won't uh give us uh any more details about as far as the the blend and things yeah. of that nature yeah be, be be secretive put a gold label on yeah. it be secretive yeah, but it's out. a good cigar. I mean, Cavalier makes great product. I, yeah. I, I, I feel that they're they're definitely in the right wheelhouse uh, of a premium cigar. I mean, they of course they are. I don't even have to say that. Uh, everybody that smokes or have had Cavalier, that they definitely will enjoy this one, right? Uh, and along with the other ones. So you can go check them out at uh, Cavalier uh, hyphen cigars dot com. Uh, and uh, yeah, check out what they have there, and and go from there. There you go. Cool. One more, Drew. Take us home. Uh, yeah, so the next one I had was the Gloria La Gloria Cubana Spanish Press Guiante. Mm, I yes. Oh yes. man, this stick right here, six by sixty. <laughs> I knew I was going to be in for a while, 
So I, I grabbed a bottle of uh, Cabernet, you Ooh, know? Yep. My, my wife was looking at me. She's like, why are you going to hog up that whole bottle? I said, no, you can come outside and enjoy yeah, it with me. I'll come share it with you. Come outside, man. The water's I, fine. Yeah, I'll give you a glass, you know, and I'll I'll, I'll hoard the rest. Hell yeah. Uh, so this- this uh, Did you this, do like the Rico Suave pour? Like, yo. I'm like, hey. No, I, you so, know, I use the- Come I use here the, often? <laughs> yeah, I'll- See, there's there's a little uh, center at the bottom of these bottles where you put your thumb in and you just hold it gently and you pour it. So, you know, that's not what it's for, Drew. That's not what it's for. <laughs> so I, I, I've seen fine uh, 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 servers yeah. uh, use that method. So I started doing that yeah, years man. ago. Yeah. But anyhow, uh, the Vitolas on the cigar, it's available in the Gordo. It's available in a Robusto and Toro. Mm-hmm. Uh, the strength on this cigar is going to be uh, a, a medium to full body. Uh, the wrapper, uh, Nicaraguan Habano, uh, one of my favorite wrappers. Uh, uh, and it's just it's just really tasty. Uh, the binder, uh, uh, San Andreas, uh, filler, Dominican Republic, uh, Nicaragua, Brazil. The filler is comprised of Nicaraguan Jalapa. A uh, Dominican polit- pol- pol- Paloto, 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 yeah. Cabana, and Old Lord Brazilian Matafina. Very uh, good, very good. I- See, your pronunciation is getting better. It took me like three oh, yeah. years to get it right. Yeah, <laughs> and it will have a Mex. Uh, it, it does have a Mexican uh, San Andreas binder, which brings this cigar together. Very del- uh, delectable uh, cigar for me. The color is Colorado. The blender on this one, uh, you know, and I've been doing my research on blenders, uh, just trying to. Mm. You know, get their background, things of that nature. So Yuri Gullian, uh, Gullian is the blender in this cigar. And you don't really get that information a lot when you go to the websites or when you go research a cigar uh, as in-depth as us geeks get, all of us, listeners and all. Uh, 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 it is manufactured in El Crido, uh factory uh, in the Dominican Republic. Uh, so this cigar, right off the bat, uh, after toasting the foot, uh, just letting it burn a little bit. I was giving it, let it get some time because I knew I was going to be there for at least an hour. I'm going to say an hour and 20 minutes for mm-hmm. me. Uh, the, uh, the, 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 the wet earthiness of this cigar really just came through uh, notes of cedar uh, and, and toast. Uh, uh, not quite char, but just the toast uh, to it. Uh, hints of uh, hints of cinnamon did translate through the cigar at the latter of the third and into the, the second third of the cigar. Uh, you know, as you go through it, you start to get this really bold flavor. Uh, and it was, uh, I was, you know, trying to get my palate to really bring it alive. So a couple of, you know, a couple of uh, uh, sips of my wine, letting my palate rest for a, a minute or two. Chilling with your go- wife. I got you. I got a visual. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, just, just letting it uh, go through. I finally keyed it in. It was like a smoked almond taste. Mm-hmm. And so that, that for me, I mean, that, that cigar just finished off real nice. Uh, again, with the, with the, the cinnamon coming through in the latter third, uh, I, I did give this cigar a rating of a, a box split. Uh, they're not, uh, they're not expensive, uh, but they're, they're, they're in the, uh, I want to say between the 13 to $16 range. Mm. Uh, but, but still for me, uh, you know, I don't know how fast I'll go through this, through that box. If I was to buy one, if I if I would, if I could, and I knew for a fact I was going to go through this box pretty, pretty uh, 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 frequently, uh, I would have definitely gotten a box for that for myself. But box split, I got many friends here who who uh, who enjoy that uh, 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 partnership and, and, and venturing into these cigars, and so. That's why it ended up as a box uh, box split rating, which isn't bad. That's nah, good. Nah, nah. Uh, that's the La Gloria Cubana Spanish Press sixty ring gauge, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. And the La Gloria uh, Cubana Spanish Press will be uh, uh, from their website again. Will be a three cigar collection that will be handcrafted at the El Crito uh, uh, Cigar Factory. It's a boutique rolling gallery located in the General Cigar. Uh, within General Cigar Dominica, uh, three uh, there artisans will uh, place freshly rolled cigars into wooden trays that uh, with div- uh, dividers that apply uniform and equal pressure to the cigars. Uh, the trays will then be uh, uh, pressed to define the cigar shape. 
Uh, once pressed, uh, the scars will be placed into a specially sized box that will apply a, uh, an additional slight pressure to the cigar to help to maintain the shape. Uh, this process is reminiscent of the old Spanish press technique mm -hmm. used in the pre-embargo Cuba where the boxes were used to create the cigar's distinctive form. And I will say this cigar, it's, it's not, it's not like it's, you know, when you get into box press it you don't really see it at first until upon close examination, right? Uh, it feels comfortable. Uh, it fits well in the forefinger. Uh, uh, I mean, this this cigar is is, is is beautiful. It's constructed nicely. You can tell that the uh, the roller and, uh, uh, definitely uh, takes a lot of pride uh, in, in, into uh, manufacturing the cigar, as all the rollers do. Uh, but this one right here, for being a Spanish press, uh, it, it definitely was uh, something uh, neat to learn about. Yeah, absolutely. Sure. I agree with that. Um, that. La Gloria Cubana Spanish Press Robusto, I'd give it a slightly higher rating. Have you ever had a Robusto? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I I love the Robusto size. Uh, that's a super cool stick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, that day I was going for the the, the big gun. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, but I will, I would. Yeah, I, I was going to say I will definitely try the Robusto because a couple of, of our patrons here was telling me, "Oh, dude, you got to try the Robusto on that." And, yeah, I bet you if you try the Robusto, you would give it a slightly higher rating. Not that you oh, gave yeah. it. Not that you gave it a bad rating, but that Spanish press robusto uh, that that really does it for me for sure. Oh yeah, you know absolutely. That's Great awesome. Stick. That's awesome. Well, make sure you follow Drew and myself on Twitter and Facebook. Uh, you can email Drew at stogiegeeks dot com with any complaints. If you want to say hi, you can say hi to both of us. Email both of us, Joe H at stogiegeeks dot com. Have you gotten any hate mail yet, Drew? Or we're good. We're good. We're doing good. I don't know. I got my Lakers hat on now. So we'll see. <laughs> I'm sure. All right, right. I'm sure. I'm sure the, the the audience will be fine with with the sports attire. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. The, For sure. The, you know, other than LeBron James making everybody mad. Well, you know, somebody's gonna make somebody mad because you know something. <laughs> it happens in every organization, and sometimes yeah. the squeaky wheel does get the grease. Drew, yes. thanks for joining us. As always, it was Thank a pleasure you. and an honor to be here with you. Stogie Geeks, we'll see you next week. Enjoy.